Hello, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Glad to be back. It's Thursday morning, and I'm going to um, continue to work on my uh, file mini journals. So remember, I'll put the link up there from the first video. It's uh, you need two standard file folders, cut at 11 inches, and then cut in half at five and a half inches. So you need two, and that'll make four. Uh, pages. So here's the completed one, which I don't know if I've done a walkthrough. We'll just go real quickly. Uh, here's the cover. I have fabric piece on the seam, and I have some uh, garment tags just tied and put in. Uh, the front cover, I I did put washi strips in here just to cover um, some of the seams where the paper didn't fit, and um, yeah, I just loosely um, picked up scraps and put them in here. Uh, if you're careful to make a pocket, you can um, add an insert there. I added some uh, paper clips and things from my stash. This is so pretty. It looks like it's um, got lace embedded in it. A little bird paper clip. A little mini envelope. Here's one of the side tabs. And the pockets are in there. Yeah. And my sister, I gave my sister one of these. Um, and she used a sprocket printer. And she was able to print her birthday party uh, that she had, a birthday tea that she had with my sisters. And she was able to put little pictures in here. And it was so cute. So sprocket may be on my list, I'm just saying. So that was that one. And then um, I just took a piece of sari ribbon and um, tied that around, okay? So we'll just set that one over there. So then I had some um, tags in my tag bag and um, I had bought wider tape than before. Um, this is actually an inch and the tape I was using was uh, three quarters. So, I just took four of my tags and I put them together and look how cute. Look how cute. There's a pocket here. Journal card. Um, no pocket here. Journal or picture. Uh, yep, yeah, a little tuck here. Another picture. Uh, a pocket here. Well, actually that's the same part of this. So we'll just let that go as a belly band. And then here's a little tuck spot here. And a little, um, this one was a um, cupcake liner, flower tag. And it's reversible. So I just love doing this tab binding. So I decided that my last one, because I had cut my file folders, I was going to make a tab binding one with this. So I already put um, three of my folders together. Now, if you're going to use the tab binding, we're not going to um, glue these together like we did on the first one. Okay, these are going to be uh, four individual units. Okay, so um, this was when my printer malfunctioned, but I'm going to use it anyway. So I used one page and I tied it over uh, like here for the covers. I thought that looked nice and just used um, literally papers that I had in my stash. So you'll need three uh, full sheets to do these. One, two, and three. Okay. So you want to get, um, when you do the tab binding, you want to do all your decorating first. So this is the last one we have. And I already got all my pages cut out. So what I do is, um, you know, I mark my pages, um, and then I mark my papers here so I know that that goes there. And I know that this one goes here because I want to match these. So I've already inked around. I'm going to just use my glue stick and, um, sorry. So let's put the back page on first. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great day. 
You're not going to believe it. You know, I'm in Arizona. It snowed today. Huh. It literally snowed today. Okay, so this page is a little off. So let me... That's why I'm using my glue stick because I have a little bit of forgiveness. Uh, if I'm not getting everything exactly straight the first two times. Okay. It's still a bit long, so um, I'm going to just trim it. Just the paper, not my file folder, okay? And, um, yeah, that's just how a sparkle rolls. And then we're going to match up as best we can from here. I like to do that. I think that looks cute when you match your seams. I don't know. I don't know. But thank goodness I had some printed papers in my folder that I hadn't used. I don't even know why I printed them. Uh, probably because I knew in, in my head I was going to have to get a new printer. Well, they just texted me and said it's out for delivery. And I wasn't expecting it till next Tuesday. So if indeed that happens, oh, Sparkle's going to be a happy girl. Yeah. So anyway, I was telling you. So I woke up and there was snow outside. We've seen snow here. We've been here 14 years. We've maybe seen snow twice. Anyway, my dog <laughs> was not impressed. He was like, uh-uh, not doing it, Mama. All right, so I'm going to make sure I got the two and the two. And we're just going to go through and lay these pages in real quick. And, um, yeah, I have a couple more things I could show you. But I wanted to um, get this done because I had cut this file folder. And I like to use it. I'm going to have to finish my baby book when the printer comes. I was printing. Um, I'll show you the pages later. And they happen to be line pages. This is page three, page three. And um, the lines were all crooked, and it was just awful. And I printed, uh, I sent it to the printer, and it printed a whole bunch of pages. I was so upset. All right, so let's, um, I'm just going to take one of these little, um, paint swatches that I made yesterday. I didn't do a video, but I could show you them later. But anyway, this could fit here. Um, just to take up some of that space in there. And then you got to go around when you use the glue stick like I did haphazardly and just reinforce any of your... Um, edges that may look a mess. And let's just fold this and make sure it's okay. Yeah, because I'm not going to put, um, I don't have any medical tape to put in here. And that's what I like to use. But this will be okay because we're going to put the tabs in here. All right, so we have our cover. It's relatively flat. We have these two. Um, now we just have to do these two. So four and five. Um, yeah, this doesn't take too long. Let's, this is just some tea dyed paper I made, or coffee dyed, I guess it was. And one more. This goes really fast. But they're so cute. So these are going in my sister's birthday packages as well as another album. Just because I love them. Oops. 
what that one was. Oh, that one was a little off here. Okay. Then you can just go through and make sure your edges are all okay. Um, I'm going to put something on the seam. So just make sure nothing stick. If you have some sticky glue, once it's dry, you can take your eraser. Well, that wasn't dry, Sparkle. So, just leave it there. Okay. This is sticky. Sticky off. Okay. So now, we have our four units. And you could decide how you want to stack them. And I think I like them just that way. Let's close up all my glues. And let's get some fabric tape. And let's um, use this one. And I need about this much. It's fabric. So I need... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I need ten. I'm not sure. Let's just cut a bunch. Two. Now you could use lace. You could use um, fabric. I just like the tape. Uh because I have trouble gluing these down with my finger situation. So, what's your plans? I zoom with my sisters tonight. One, two, three, four, five. That's always fun. And then they get to show their birthday gifts. So I did send some journals to my one sister last week, so tonight she'll show everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do one more and then we can cut some more. I don't like to overcut these because I tend to lose them. Okay, so the first one we're going to. Um, It usually comes off pretty easy, except now that I'm on camera, it won't. Okay, so that's our front. We could do it that way if we want. One. Two. And then the next one, um, we want to put two and two. to get it right in between these
three down. The initial three. Just make sure everything's flush here. Oops. One. Two. Three. And we got this one. I just match it up to the one that was there before. And I am going to need, no, I don't think I need any more. One, two, Two, three. So now we're going to put the two down. One and two. And now for the last one, we don't need any tape because we take the first one that's left. One, two, three. There you have it, my friends. And look how flat it lays. Okay, so here's first page, and you've got lots of journal spots. Oops, that's still wet. I'll just put a paper clipper, something over it. Okay. Okay, there's one unit, and then you get to the next one. And I like the file folders because the tabs are wherever. Okay, and then we're going to um, get something to put on the binding here. And I got some new, I got some new fabrics and stuff yesterday in the mail from one of the gals that uh, was getting rid of her stash because she's um, has a health issue with glues and things. That's a little narrow. Let's try this one. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I think that'll be pretty there. So, let's just give it a little cut here. Yeah, so, she was getting rid of her things, and I ordered a box from her. I love it. Because as you know, Sparkle doesn't have a lot of fabric and things. So let's see. Let's just put some glue here. And we're using our fabric tack here. So And now we have to make sure it's um, make sure it's even, and we'll put some on here. I don't put it on the spine directly here because I like to have some movement. And then just work that over. Get it straight. You can trim anything that 
doesn't look right. We're having a woman's event on Saturday, and I might make a couple of these, like, for door prizes. I think the ladies might like that. So basically that's done. Then you could um, look through and see if you want to put something else on the cover. I had made this. Oh, that's too big. All right, so. I don't want to cover that lady, though, so it would have to be, like, on the side here. This could be a, um, a tab there. Let's see if you have any others that might match better. Oh, here you go. That's the one that's going there. Okay? So these are the ones that I made. They're just little, I don't know what I call them. Let's just put the glue on here. And I want to um, match it to the corner as best I can. I can cut the top off if I have to, but I probably won't. I'll just leave it. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, and then we can go in and... Uh, decorate a little bit. I don't want to decorate too much because um, I'm finding that um, my sisters like to put stuff in here and um, decorate them. So, you know, maybe a side tuck or um, just something across the top. We can definitely do... Um, like paper clips. Paper clips are fine. And that looks nice there. And we could put some of these. These are flat. That could go down here. Oh. Um, I had made some of these um, paper splash splatters, and um, to offset that, we could put that there, something like that there. That'll just offset that where it didn't quite match. I'll just make it even here. I did mostly pink just because I was playing around and I didn't have all my paints. Well, I had my paint palette, but. And then um, these I'll probably leave blank. Maybe, um, maybe some ribbon across here would be fine. So let's see. Didn't cut that very straight, did I? All right. Well, let's just carry on anyway. Um. All right. Let's see if you can cut straight, Sparkle. All right, we'll trim that edge off over there when we're done. Just the top, because then you could tuck something under here. All right, let's um, see if we can get this one better. Better job, huh? 
Yeah, this paper um, printed a little bit wonky, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. And let's um, <laughs> oh, that didn't turn out the way I expected it to, but it's quite all right. The sparkle doesn't care. It's pretty. Sparkles just into being things being pretty. Not always have to be perfect. So then, um, yeah, if you had something later, a picture or something, you could tuck it in there. So just let it go. So I will um, go off camera and uh, decorate a little bit more. I'm going to have to make some more of these because I really like the way these look on here. Isn't that pretty? All right, I'll just do one more. This glue is all wonky. So what else is now? Oh. So just slide it to the edge as best you can. Oh, for sure. For sure. So, you get the gist, my friends. This should come off. Okay. So, we have our cover, our beautiful lady, and um, just a few little tidbits in here for now. And I will come back and give this a once over and fill it in some more because when you have your things made I love that paper I like the lace I might just tack it down a little bit on the side here so it doesn't catch okay let that dry and let's see what we can tie it with um, this pink seam binding um, can't be pink because it can't be pink. So I might just do something like that and um, put one of my pins in here. Let's, this one's got some pink in it. I might have to take one out because this can be my uh, this could be my closure. Okay, so there you have that, my friends. I have a few more minutes, so let me show you something else I did. So we have we have this one. Let's put them on here. So we have this one that we just made. And we used um, the tab binding system. We have this, uh, which is just four little um, tags. And we have our original. What's wrong with my camera today? There you go. Sorry about that. So we have these. And then um, the other night, Cheryl... Halifax did a live and she did a master board uh, and then I cut mine up and everything on here is washi okay except this you know but all the flowers the papers it, it's washi and so I have some um, pocket tags that can go in a journal so you know, you could 
put this in as a pocket or a tuck spot. And tag. So mine was uh, very small, but I was able to get five pieces out of it. So yeah, you just make um, a master board and then you um, decorate it. Mine was just with newspapers and music papers and things like that. And then you just decorate them. So that was fun. And then my other thing that I did, because I'm still waiting for my printer, was I um, did some of these uh, crafty washi um, splashes, which, you know, I've seen the ladies do. So there's a, some, I like them on this kind of paper. And you could see how I used them in here. I just used the whole strip, but you also couldn't just cut pieces off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just play. This is my palette. It's from Walmart. So it's very professional, you know. Very old. I think I paid like four bucks. Three ninety nine, four ninety nine for it, and um, here it is. Hold on, it's coming. And it has a lid, but I'm sitting on the lid. And then I just have one of these little egg things. And um, let's do my other favorite color and my brush. I just put some little bit of water in there. And I'm just using um, scrap paper. And you could either make squares or you could make circles. And you could do different shades. And it depends what kind of paper is in the background, what it picks up. Okay, and how fast it absorbs in here. Um, yeah. So you actually can sit and do these for hours. It's very fun. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but. So there's some squares, and then, you know, you could do... Um, some little circles. Oops. Oops. You could do some little circles. Or any shape. But I, I like squares and circles. And then when they're dry, I just took my black um, pen and went around them for some emphasis. I didn't go around the circles because I just like the circles like that. And you could um, mix your palette, mix your colors. But I just like circles and squares. And like I said, these are just scraps. And they're just delightful to play with. So, you know, when you're in a slump like that where you, you can't craft like you wanted to, like to work on your book and stuff, you can find some alternatives to have some fun. Yeah, I don't have a real fancy paint palette, but I don't need it. This is perfect for me. Oops. This is perfect. And I don't know my colors real good, but if you did, you could go in and mix and match, make shades. Yeah, my dad was an artist, a self-taught artist, and I can't draw a straight line. But I could do stuff with paper. So, all right. So, um, 
that's that's where I've been at. That's what I've been up to. Um, I'll go off camera now, and I will um, do some more of these because they're very addicting. And I will see you again real soon, maybe with my new printer. Oh, let me show you what my printer did. Hold on. So I'm going along. This book is um, a boho baby journal, and it's from uh, My Porch Prints. So I put my paper in, and it's, um, you know, printing away. So I don't know. I put five or six pages in there. And um, everything was fine. I printed on the other side. Everything was fine. Four months. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, after six months, I'm in the other room, and I hear this horrific noise. I come out and look what it's doing. And it printed all these pages like this. What's up with that? I cleaned it. I prepped it. I took it apart. I cleaned the rollers. I couldn't get anything. It's double printing. So, after I cried, I tossed them out. Look at all how crooked these lines are. I'll use this for something. I'm not sure what, but I can cut out the edges and, you know, use this for backing. So, I mean, I'm not going to throw these sheets out, but I certainly can't give this to my first great-granddaughter, second great-granddaughter. So, anyway, that's what Sparkle's been up to. So, um, yeah, so I just decided I would do something simple, like paint last night when I was so stressed out because, um, you know, I can't go too wrong with these. They're scrap paper. And it's a $4 paint palette, so I'm good to go. So you all have a blessed, beautiful day, my friends. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye now.